Okay. So, wow. The lover's card, for some reason, has been popping up all over the place for a bunch of signs, for all the earth and all the air signs, too. So um, maybe the earth and the air signs are linking together, because I, I do feel a presence of a lot of social dating in general for this spread. So let's go through this uh, situation here. Okay, so the overall energy for this month, I do feel it is going to be major, major transformations, okay? We're starting out with the world card, and the world card is things culminating, things that have been brewing for the previous few months, and I feel, felt like this was an energy that was um, prominent in the air signs um, in, for Gemini and for Aquarius as well. A lot of things that have been, you know, floating around, since July, August, September, things are basically starting to either solidify or settle. So um, at this point, you know where you want to go and you know, you have an idea of what it is that you want to proceed with and what it is that you want to leave behind. So I do feel that for a lot of you, financial problems that have been brewing in the past are definitely coming to an end. And I do feel, you know, it's one of those months where the financial issues, whatever you've been dealing with, you're starting to see a walking away from, you know, financial worries, okay? So I do sense that there might have been like a, an external actor coming through in order to help you solidify or at least stabilize your financial base. And as a result of it, you're not going to be too troubled by it. I do feel like towards the end of this month too, you're showing up here as the Empress. And the Empress is a beautiful energy. It's a woman that is capable of taking care of herself. She's able to rule her domain. And you know, regardless of your gender and sexual orientation, I do feel this is a very, very powerful card. This is somebody that is basically, um, they're regaining their territory. They're coming into their own and they're starting to defend their territory in a way where it's all about um, solidifying your foundation in order to move ahead with better things, okay? So at this point, financial worries that have been plaguing you in the past, they're definitely coming to an end and you're going to be freed from a lot of the bonds and the struggles that you've had to contend with for the past three months, all right? Central to this spread, I definitely feel there is going to be love in the picture, okay? You're getting a lot of reception. You're getting like f positive feedback from, you know, the opposite sex or whoever it is that you're dating. There's definitely a proposal coming in for you and whether or not you want to go with this. I do feel that, you know, you can't really go wrong because we do have very strong energies that indicates balanced relationship. There might be a relationship that hasn't been entirely um, healthy. It might have been built on, you know, uh, codependency. It might have been built on just uh, the fear of letting one another go. And, and it's basically a relationship that is in the past. It's coming back this month. And you're going to have to reassess whether or not you want to re-engage with this person. For a lot of you, the, the Devil card is linked up with a Knight of Cups, which is potentially a water sign. Someone with a Sun Moon rising in a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person is definitely coming into the picture. And I do feel that they might have been off doing their own thing. You are very physically you know, attracted to them. And there is a very strong emotional connection. And it might have been a situation where there might have been... Um, a lot of emotional investment, it could have lasted, you know, a period of like, um, for the past three months or a period of eight months, okay? And you're contemplating whether or not you want to walk away. And every time you take that first step towards walking away, every time you turn your back on them, they either get their act together and they, they try to court you and win you back. Or every time you're thinking about walking away, they always come back in and they make promises about, you know, I'll, I'll try to be a better person. I'll try to be a better relationship partner. And I do feel that you have to be very careful about this energy. If this is something that is on, off, and every time you try to walk away, they try to lure you back in with promises. Because the promises are 
I don't feel that they they're a bad person. I just feel that the promise is they're not able to follow through with it, at least not now. Okay, so you want to really reassess how many times they promise these things and whether or not is it's good to put your life on hold for another person who can't really deliver the things that they promise. So it might be a situation where they make these promises at the beginning of the month and then through the course of the month you're realizing that, okay, you're back to your old behaviors again. And then they try to make another, they try to make amends, you know, by the end of the month, same person. And that's where the big decision comes through. You're going to have to choose to see, you know, if the physical aspect of this relationship is enough to sustain it long term, okay? And I do feel that, you know, we, we do have three separate court cards in the deck. Four, four actually with the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of you are dealing with new fire signs. I do feel the fire signs might be new. A lot of you are dealing with earth signs. So um, fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. The earth sign I do feel is somewhat of an energy that represents you. It can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I do feel this earth sign for some reason represents a, a Libran energy for this month and it indicates a little bit of a financial um, financial instability. I'm sensing that, okay? So the main focus of this month is to rebuild your financial base, stick with one relationship partner, and make the most out of that one relationship partner rather than scattering your energy far and wide trying to date because I do feel that you know you are getting a lot of good reception but the quality is something that you you really want to screen out okay do quality control when it comes to your dating your your love situation and once again the lovers card keeps falling out for all the air signs and I, I feel like it, it was for uh, Taurus, maybe Taurus or Virgo, Taurus, Taurus as well. So a lot of you might be dealing with earth signs, which is, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgos, and the earth sign is interested actually in playing the field. I do feel that, you know, there might be a long distance element associated with this relationship. There is a lot of physical attraction. There's a lot of like mutual fascination with one another. But the earth sign is not yet ready to settle down. So for those of you who are kind of courting an earth sign, I do feel that this is something that's coming to light. They are going to tell you, you know, this is what I want. I'm not ready yet for a serious relationship. So if you want to be with me, here are my terms. So you're going to have to decide whether or not you can agree to these terms. I do feel that for a lot of you too, it might be the other way around where you're giving your love. And you're hoping for the other person to meet you halfway. And this is something that um, they are willing to meet you halfway. I do sense that. They have recently walked out of a toxic relationship as well. They're leaving that behind. They've walked out of their own, you know, um, their own dark tunnel. And they're trying to find their way towards the light. And I do feel that you're coaxing just stay where you are. And I, I sense that, you know, when they're ready, they will come to you because I do feel there is still residual emotional baggage coming from their end. This is the earth sign. There's still some residual emotional baggage that needs to be cleared up from their end. So you're in a good place. You've done a lot of healing and I do feel that you're ready to date. And that's why, you know, all the court cards are showing up because you're in a good mental, emotional space right now to let other people into your life. The one you have your eye on, your eyes on is um, still going through a little bit of an inner struggle and still dealing with their own inner demons. So you might want to take it slow and give it some more time. We are still experiencing the energy of the Mercury in retrograde. So exes can come back and relationships that are solidified right now, you want to be careful. Just wait until the end of the month and see how things pan out because that's the, you know, once Mercury is completely out of its shadow period, that's when stall plans and communication can definitely move ahead for you. I also feel that, you know, whatever delays, if you feel like you've been blocked on the romance front, it's happening for a reason because I do feel like, you know, towards the middle of the month, this is going to be around the 13th, 14th, 15th. Um, 
choices are going to be dwindling for you. So for example, you've had your eye on somebody and they they seem like they're not emotionally available or they've made plans with you and then they might have flaked out. I do sense there is some information coming to light by the 13th, 14th of the month where you're going to have to decide this person is wasting my time they're not really worth it anymore so I need to you know cut my losses move away and establish you know a foundation with somebody else so I do feel transition potentially from I do sense a transition from like water sign to an earth sign or an earth sign to a um, fire sign. But either way, I do feel that you want to be, just keep things very casual, okay? And on the love front, you're not lacking in candidates. So they're not going anywhere. I feel like, you know, none of them are really leaving the picture. None of them are kind of like on the edges walking away. This is even reverse, so he is coming into the picture. There's definitely a, a love proposal coming through the end of the month and also at the end of the first week of this month. So, you know, no worries there when it comes to potential dating candidates, okay? When it comes to um, household and, and things like that, I do sense for those of you with children, um, be very careful in general about, you know, protecting yourself from pregnancy because the empress, once again, next to the lovers, next to the devil unwanted pregnancy next to the knight of wands this indicates you know like unbridled passion so things can get heated very fast and you want to protect yourself accordingly because the way the cards are falling out someone's going to get pregnant and you don't want it to be unplanned and unexpected it's just unnecessary okay so really protect yourself this month libras i also feel as well there's just a lot of passion and a lot of people so there's no judgment here, but sort out, you know, do things in a systematic way, okay? And um, really screen out the people carefully so that, you, so what, what it seems like to me is, you know, there's a fire sign here that looks very promising. He looks very promising. He or she looks very, very promising. And this is the person that I, I do feel, you know, you're different enough where things can be interesting. And you're attracted to one another enough where things can work out. I do feel there is a, a great deal of attraction. I, I'm i also sensing with this fire sign that um, both you and the fire sign are both socially dating other people. So you're keeping your eyes open, but there is a very strong pull towards one another. And I, I'm sensing that you both might be skirting around the issue. One side, you might be you know, playing... Um, I wouldn't say playing hard to get, but you, you, you're you not ready yet to show how you feel and to leave yourself vulnerable, not just yet. The fire sign being, you know, of a fire nature, they, they're very nonchalant, so they don't know how much you like them. So if you are interested in a fire sign and they haven't made a move, chances are they probably don't know that you like them, so you might want to amp it up a little bit and just to get them... Um, in your periphery just to get them to notice you and just to, you know, signal your intentions. I do feel that with pages, this is the main energy. You really want to signal your intentions, okay? And that way the other person knows where you stand, knows by signaling your intentions, you're also, you know, able to manifest what it is that you want into your life. So if you tell somebody, you know, if you compliment someone and um, it allows you to draw them towards you, mainly because uh, you exude a more open and a more carefree energy and also a more loving energy. And as a result of it, they are going to gravitate towards you. So, you know, send out some compliments for those of you who are shy or who are not used to, you know, having to court other people and you're sitting on the sidelines thinking to yourself, I really want this person, but I don't know how they feel about me. Well, that's going to be secondary. The first thing is you just want them to know that you like them first. So do things in a more systematic manner. That's what I meant earlier. Um, in terms of work, let's look at the work situation. 
for a lot of you, you've been working at a, a place where you feel as if you're a little bit underpaid. Okay. In your previous work environment, things were really, really great. And a lot of you might have to downsize or might have like transitioned to a new work environment where uh, rather than, you know, getting like a, a salary that is commensurate to your skills, skill level, skill sets. Um, I feel like you're being compensated based on perks. So for example, instead of paying you, you know, that extra five, ten dollars an hour, they're telling you, oh, we will reimburse you, you know, gas and mileage and wear and tear on your vehicle. And you're starting to realize that it's actually it's actually not enough and it's actually something that you don't really want to compromise on. So you might go through salary negotiations. It's notorious with the lovers here too. Salary negotiations where you give your offer, they come back and they try to lowball you a little bit. And then there is another round of salary negotiations coming through. If you're not happy with the first round, signal your intention. I'm not happy. This is not a livable wage or I deserve more because the time I'm putting in is just not acceptable. Signal your intention and there will be a second round of salary negotiation and they're going to give you something more because we're coming from a page to a night. Even though this is reverse, I do feel that it is a better negotiation, a better offer coming through. So likewise, if for those of you who have been looking for work, I do feel that you might get yourself in a, um, a frazzle state where you might have been, you know, looking for work for quite some time, like within the past two months, for example. I do feel for the past two months. Yeah, for a lot of the signs too, air signs especially, for the past two months. And um, your the first offer comes into the picture. And once again, it's the first week of the month, Mercury in retrograde. Um, hold off on it. Okay. Don't make any decisions. I do feel another offer for work coming through for you. And the second offer, it seems as if the work situation is going to be a little bit monotonous, is a little bit restrictive. And it might seem as if, um, you, it might seem as if it's your second choice. So you might be tempted to go with the first offer that comes in the beginning of the month. But I would advise you to wait for the second offer because I do feel the work environment itself is a lot more supportive. It's a lot more nurturing. And you're dealing with good co-workers, you know, in the second work situation, okay? So keep yourself, you know, open-minded to that. I do feel as well, there's definitely th three three i'm getting three either love interests you know proposals which is a lot it's three in one month is a lot so it's almost like one every 10 days so love proposals coming through or work proposals coming through and it, it's looking very positive so you want to be selective about what it is that you need in order to be happy and you also want to go with new things okay if you have an inkling if you're kind of like in a in a work situation and you're applying for jobs and um you're applying for the same types of job because you feel there is security and safety in you know already having that foundation it's kind of a good month for you right now to really branch out and do something that you've never done before because it has a good outcome. So if you're just like somehow pigeonholed into doing a certain line of work that you are good at but you don't really enjoy, it's a good time to break out of the rut and pursue something brand new because you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I do have like the element of surprise coming through. The, the more you try to play it safe, the more restrictive and trapped and hemmed in you're going to feel. The more open and just engaged you are with new opportunities and, you know, allowing them to come in or even like allowing them to um, manifest, just allowing them the, the potential to play out in your head even, the happier you're going to be and the more, just the more open you are the more opportunities will come through for you. So it's one of those, you know, um, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, but it's also like um, using the, the, the ability to manifest positive things into your life just by being open-minded, just by being open-hearted and coming into situations without, um, without biases, without, you know, 
preconceived notions and clear like expectations. Be a little bit more open-minded and um, easygoing. I feel like Libras in general are very easygoing, but I do feel that when it comes to love partners and things like that, um, you have a very, very strong idea of what um, you want in a romantic partner, and you have a type. You have a specific type, and you might realize sometimes this month that that type that you've always stuck with have not been entirely you know, healthy. So you might want to branch out a little bit, especially because there are so many love interests coming through. There are a lot of proposals just scattered throughout this month. So keeping yourself, you know, just open and things like that is going to be in your best interest, okay? Moving forward, um, there is going to be a travel opportunity coming through for those of you who are... I, I feel like it's very last minute. It's something very, very unexpected. It could come about through like a... Um, a a friend, a colleague that doesn't live in your general vicinity. So there might be somebody coming far away to visit you. There might be, you know, hearing from some, you might be hearing from somebody out of the blue and they're like, oh, I'm doing this trip. So do you want to take a trip with me? And then you're starting to plan it. Okay. You're starting to plan this. It could happen this month as well. And I do feel if it does happen this month, it's going to be spectacular. I do feel, you know, physically moving from one place to the next. For a lot of you, you might have had like, um, you know, like a um, a romantic partner, somebody that you like. They live far away, so you might be taking a trip to go see them. They might solicit you, and they might tell you you're kind of in a rut, and you need a sense of perspective. And so, why don't you come visit me? You can stay with me just to clear your head and then it might turn into a love relationship. So I do feel that they're offering you, you know, to come stay with me just to clear your head and they mean it, but underlying it is like ulterior motives. So you might want to, if you get a proposal of, you know, someone is telling you come stay with them for a few days just to clear your head. I do feel that, you know, the underlying motive here is that they might have liked you for quite some time, and now they're finally working up the courage to do so. But either way, you can't really go wrong. Um, leaving your current vicinity in order to find new work, that's also a good you know, thing to do. I do feel as well that um, for a lot of you on the work front, you are very well received as well. You're coming across as somebody that is very confident, competent, and um, someone that is a good team player, which, you know, Libras are, are very diplomatic in general. So I do feel that not only, you know, it, there's a difference between um, being diplomatic and being firm. So I, I do sense like diplomacy allows you to work well with others, but being firm and diplomatic at the same time, that's going to serve you well this month. You're basically drawing the line in the sand and you're telling your coworkers, work associates, lovers, and, you know, people in your life, this is what I really want and I'm not going to compromise. And because of it, they feel that, you know, you're coming into your own and they sense, they sense that you're very capable of holding your own. And once you exude that type of energy, the ones that, the, the people that might be emotionally manipulative, the people that might be, um, that might not be secure enough in their own skin are the ones that are going to drop out of your life because they don't really want to confront strong energies. So once you're able to do that, I do feel things will start to brighten up for you. Okay. Whatever financial situation you've been dealing with in the past, just let it go because I do feel you're entering a new phase, new job opportunities, new negotiation, like rounds of salary negotiations that will end in your favor but you also want to um, be very realistic about be very realistic about how much you really need because I do feel you really have to rein in your budget and you know we always want nice things but you might want to not overindulge for this month okay so don't overindulge in love interest in you know the, the salary negotiations, like I said, I do feel they are going to offer you, they're going to try to offer you 
somewhere close to what you're asking the first time and then the second time you're just going to realize that they're offering you a little bit more but that's all they're willing to to um to give because they don't actually have more to give okay so libras it is going to be a very very phenomenal um month for you i do feel a lot of new energies coming through i do feel travel walking away and also um that sense of i guess for those of you who have recently you know moved to a new place and are have have moved to the a new place within the past three months and you're spending a lot of money trying to redecorate your home or trying to buy all the essentials to your home environment just um don't do it the first week try to do everything take care of everything for example if you're trying to buy furniture so that you can host a party by the end of this month don't, don't wear yourself down, okay? Don't wear yourself out. It's actually better if you have minimal furniture because I do feel that people that you're inviting, there's actually a lot more that are coming into your household. So the less furniture you have, the more room. Um, it is for people to get squeezed in, all right? So it's overall a very, very positive month. Um, I don't sense anything negative here. I just feel as if you, you might want to rein in your spending. Don't spend too extravagantly. Don't spend beyond your means. That's just good advice in general. Uh, but especially for this month. Um, if there is an art show, fashion show, something related to like visual art, performing arts, um, art gallery, like art exhibit, something like that, I do sense that it's coming through possibly from the 18th onward. You really want to go, even though it might be a little bit further from outside of your area, you really want to go. You really want to make an, a an conscious effort to go because I do sense you're going to meet somebody there that is just, um, not only they're attractive, I do feel that they are very, um, very worldly and it's, it's a, it's a start of a very good relationship. You're also able to expand your social base as a result of it. For those of you who are looking for opportunities to display your artwork, I definitely see that coming through here with this Empress card. Very, very strongly indicated where, you know, you're basically uh, breaking new ground, all right?